you know, when I was in my late teens and early 20s, uh, marijuana became a huge way for me to deal with this sort of unprocessed pain. And I look back on it now and I formed a protective identity as being someone who was a recluse, someone who was also a victim, right? I love to say, well, I've been hurt. I'm special. I'm different. I'm compromised. Whenever I get the chance, I run away down to the river to smoke weed alone or I smoke weed with my one other friend who had whatever problems of his own, I suppose. I formed that protective identity that justified all that. Rather than doing the work of healing the pain that I am doing now, I said, well, I'm a victim. I'm a recluse. I run away. Now, the unfortunate thing in the way some of this stuff is so sinister is marijuana really messed up a lot of things for me. My social relationships, um, again, formed this identity around it where I wasn't being fully myself. And for whatever reason, however it works, it gave me those emotional problems, right? I would have emotional outbursts or I would I would spend so much time high thinking about uh, the problem and the pain and how I wasn't getting what I wanted that... When something would confront me in real life, I would snap and explode and have this emotional outburst. It's worth examining your behavior. I couldn't do it then, so I can't tell you to do it now, but I can just say to you, this would be the next step for you. If there's something that you're addicted to, if there's things that you're doing to escape, not only do those things come as a sort of a consequence or as a result of your ego trying to keep you safe, but it reveals to us exactly where the pain lies. Because I felt like a recluse, right? I withdrew socially. What what it turned out to be the case was that I had to put myself out into the world and be social. I had to stop seeing myself as a, a special victim. And I had to see myself as someone in high self-esteem that could go out and contribute. All of this took years, but it's through that self-examination that took place in the journal and in the goal setting, right? It's like, look, can I lay off the weed maybe and maybe be a productive member of society? What would that look like? The things that we do, we're so often, we're, we're so eager to change because we know it's wrong, but we got to take that step in the moment and say, look, those things that I'm doing, those reveal to me exactly what I must do if I want better outcomes. It's not run away from that life like you've been running away from everything else. It's stop in the moment and look at exactly what you're doing that will tell you where those next steps lie.